Welcome to the Cal Corporation's series of videos about software engineering. The topic of this video is the construction of a standard string. Before proceeding, make sure that you have already watched these other videos first. If you were to use a vector class to store character string data, it would look this way. This vector has the ability to easily shrink and grow unlike a traditional C array of characters where you would need to guess the string's capacity ahead of time when you allocate memory for that traditional string. Using this vector to store character string data is so common that C++ provides a class that is specifically dedicated for this purpose. Most of the STL vector functions also exist as string class functions. This includes default construction and initialization from a literal. When asking about the length of a string, that means the same thing as asking about the size of the vector that stores it. You can test the equality of two strings the same way you would do for two integers, by using an equality operator between their two values. You can index individual characters or temporarily access all the character data as a contiguous sequence of memory. It is most efficient to remove or add characters to the back side of the string, although you can remove any arbitrary substring. You can assign a value to a string variable the same way you would do for ints, by using an assignment operator that treats string objects as values. A string object can be treated as a value, just as you can treat an int as a value. This is because C++ has already provided copy construction and copy assignment for the string class. When initializing a string object from a literal, there is a shortcut for the brace notation. A string object does not use the null character for marking the string's termination. In fact, the string object might even contain a null character as a data character within its content, just like any ordinary character. When initializing a string object from a C string literal, characters are copied only up until that C string's null character termination marker. That null character is not copied though. Thus, in the rare situation where you want to express a string literal containing a null character as a data character, then you need to use a string class literal. We have seen that the string class is like a STL vector where the item type is an ASCII character. There is also another class called WString, which is like a vector whose item type is wide Unicode characters. <laughs> 